This was just a blank space. We ended up with like 32 sheets of plywood. This is a woodland setting if I've ever seen one. Beautiful use of wood. This house is as old as me. We sit here and we look out this window. Uh -huh. oh. This is exciting. We are in Fayetteville, Arkansas. My first time ever in Fayetteville, Arkansas, the home of the Razorbacks with Cody Gilstrap, River Rock Water Gardens. And this is a Pondless Waterfall? Yeah, we built this last year. Okay, so a new Pondless Waterfall. Let's check it out. everything come through oh yeah it's all shuffled through right here so very narrow backyard yeah very small yeah Tiny space oh i love the hot tub so we got a whole lifestyle out here yep <laughs> here we go and you can see that he's got grandkids from the dolls and this is one of the reasons he built it right yeah look at how beautiful that is <laughs> disappeared into our uh, football excavation. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing fine. Robert Ellis. Robert the pond guy, Greg. Hey, Greg. I got a mug from you the other day. Yeah, and coffee mug. I appreciate that. Yeah. And you got some cute pooches here, huh? Right. Thank you. Yeah. And so the inspiration, Robert, for this was the grandkids? The grandkids. Yeah. And I can yeah. see what it looks like oh, the yeah. grandkids yeah. come over they, and enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah. They come over and go from the hot tub into the... Oh, pond. my gosh. So they splash around in yeah. there. How that's... So cute. Well, it's a beautiful, what was here before? Cause it's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a narrow backyard. I had a Japanese maple oh. that was sitting right there. It was in the middle and then I just had rocks around. Okay. And you wanted the sound of water. You wanted something like, how did this all yeah, start? Yeah, just, uh, well, I thought about getting just a, you know, one of the, like a bowl type. You know, uh -huh. and, and I did some research on it and they said they were bad to leak. Okay. And different things. And I, I called Cody and I said, let's uh, see, had him come over and we sat down down and we're thinking about maybe that and then different thing and I was going to have it go down from that side and then Cody came up with this idea to do this. Well I like it because you can see it from the house. Yeah. You don't have oh, to yeah. be outside to enjoy it. That's my bedroom right there so I can Oh so you can hear it. I can hear it and if I want to and so it just is very convenient. Yes. And well I guarantee you that people that come out here nobody would walk into your backyard and not at least comment on this. And uh, I can say the dogs walk around the top and and they probably drink and out of the drink water. out of the water. Dogs love the yeah. recirculating and, water, and that's one thing I've never had to put anything in the water. It's just, and I don't have to add water. So what is it? So people that don't have a pondless waterfall, they don't really understand yeah. them. What is the maintenance with this? On this one, it's been very little. You know, I checked the water level there, and it's so odd that it's so rare that I have to put any water in it. Right. It's just it's recirculates, self-contained, it rains, it fills it up, and then when I turn it off, it's just rocks. Right. So you don't have to worry. And if you're gone, just turn it off. And it's just, you know, the rocks there. And in a few months, these impatience that are planted right in the water are just going to get gigantic. Hey, so we built this pondless for Robert about a year ago. I think it's a little less than a year now. This was just a blank space. This Jap maple here was actually planted smack in the center of this. Uh, I think he had a couple of bilias in here that we took out. But he wanted a fountainscape or a little bubbling rock. But he had two little granddaughters that came over. And he was looking for a space for them to play in, splash around. So. I pushed him towards doing a pondless waterfall so we had to build this little retaining wall so we had this backdrop to build off of to get the elevation so we took out his landscape and we built this basin oversized the basin it's uh five large aqua blocks in here everything went pretty smooth really like how it turned out the only snag we had we had a unmarked fiber optic line right there and we hit that but like i said it wasn't marked so they came out and fixed it but for some reason they had ran it real goofy around the house and it was not supposed to be like that so AT&T took care of it and fixed it for him, but super tight access. We ended up with like 32 sheets of plywood to get through his yard without tearing it up. Well, he's got three dogs, but two Roxy and the other one come out here. They love swimming and splashing and playing in here and getting drinks. And they like walking up around the wall. So pretty cool space for his pups and his granddaughters to play and got nice sounds and views from the house. Every water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. The process to build it remains the same though. I can't even imagine this space without this water feature. 
It's a beautiful morning in Springdale, Arkansas, and we are out here with Cody Gilstrap to see a rebuilt water feature, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Had a preformed pond we ripped out and put in a pondless waterfall. All right, let's check out a beautiful pondless waterfall. Number one thing I like about this is the location. Yeah. I mean, wow. Yes. It never gets old. This is a woodland setting if I've ever seen one. Beautiful use of wood in here. And then Tony, oh, there they are. Hi. <laughs> Kitchen window, living room window. What a beautiful setting you have here. Thank you. I'm the pond guy, Greg. I'm Sheila. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sheila. You. Nice to meet you, too. I heard this young man came in and you had a preformed pond. Oh, it was awful. It was okay. Terrible. So, yeah, tell me the story. Well, we bought this house. It was built in 1970. We didn't buy it until. This house is as old as me, okay? It's still looking good. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just a little preformed pond with rocks stacked up around the edge and it just looked horrible. And it hadn't been maintained in years by sure. the time we bought the house, so it was just full of muck and sure. gross. But it still held water, so uh -huh. okay, we'll keep it for a little while. We redid the rocks, it still didn't look natural in any way, shape, or form. Yep. Gave the kids something to mess around in. Okay. But then we said, this is where we look out, this is what needs to be beautiful. I'm tired of that ice there. We called Cody and said, And he kind of introduced you to the idea of a pondless waterfall, right? Yeah. Because you were just looking to figure out how to make it look nicer, and he suggested mm -hmm. a pondless, because you're in the middle of a wood setting in here like this right now. And right. what I like about it is you made a deep basin down here, too. Mm -hmm. So what has it been like living the aquascape lifestyle shield? <laughs> we love it. You know, in the winter, we sit here and we look out this window uh -huh. all the time. I've got this screen porch. Yeah, it's beautiful. So quite often, my husband goes to the real bed, and I sleep in the screen porch, because I love this sound. <laughs> <laughs> so he actually stays in the main bed, and you sleep in the a lot of the time, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Well, Michael? Michael Gray. The pond guy, Greg. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Are you happy with this young man? Absolutely. What was it like watching the process? I heard he actually built it with his nephew, his 14-year-old nephew, because his guys were on vacation that week. Yes. Pretty cool process, huh? I'll tell you what, impressive is not even enough word to watch him bring in that mini X through that tiny area, avoid all of these power lines and everything else, not crunch any of their big windows, and put in this pond. It was particularly cool the day he showed up at the court, right, to cut through that rock. Yes. Oh, you cut through here? Yeah. Okay. Were you always planning on that, or did you just kind of come up with that as a vision yeah, so as they, artist? they originally called us for a bubbler. Uh-huh. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, I can give you a bubbler, but let's do this, too. So right this is now. cool. So originally, it just started off as, let's add a little bubbly rock, and then it expanded to this when he kind of pitched that idea to you. Guys. Yes. Yeah. Because we have the natural slope, it made sense to use it. Yes. It's just one of those things where, yeah, he came out, kind of talked through this idea, because it was just an old nasty water feature that came with the house years ago, right? We'd always been wanting to do something with it. But as he looked at the slope and we just ideas and everything, yeah. just a lot of ideation happening. And then we realized, no, this could be a lot cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Hey, so we built this pondless waterfall last August. Had a little preformed pond. Oh gosh, like a 15, 20 gallon preformed pond here. They call this one a bubbler. So we ended up incorporating a bubbler as a framer rock for this first drop. But then we built this old almost 16 foot pondless waterfall back here because it had just the perfect slope natural setting for it and all these trees and this awesome deck back here but we built this with their grandkids in mind to have somewhere to play without having to go find water we brought the water to them so but you can tell we got their dinosaurs and sharks and boats they float out here all the time every time i come out here there's usually an army man or gi joe sitting under there but super fun project we did back in august we did the walkway too so it took us about five days start to finish tearing it out and building it up Hope you like it. So, so many times we get called out to fix a uh, older water feature, and this is where the artistic comes in. An artist will look at this and say, I don't just want to add a bubbling waterfall on here. Let's add a longer stream and a deeper stream, and let's bring in wood and other elements from the natural environment and how to recreate it. That's what you get when you work with a certified aquascape contractor who specializes in decorative water features. If you're interested in finding a certified aquascape contractor by you, check out the link below. I love my job.